Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Investor Show. As always, this is your host, Prince Dice, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and comment and share button. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs up anyway. But if you got some questions, drop them below. Or if you just want to say, hey, drop some questions below or shoot me an email. Email's in the description box. But as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to get straight into it. So as you can see in the description box, I'm going to be telling you how to know how to invest by the iconic best investor of our time, Warren Buffett. He's a big advocate of buying the index. Uh, if you look here on our, our videos we have here. Um, that he just put out a couple months ago, right before his Berkshire Hathaway shareholders meeting. He was an advocate of buying the S&P 500 index. So what I'm going to do in this video, that's great what he said, but I'm going to show you how to invest just like Warren Buffett um, advice was to new amateur and people that are current investors. So hold on to your seats as we talk, and we're going to compare to other ones. Now, what we're going to do here, I have pulled up the uh, Charles Schwab index, but I'm going to compare these things by going here. I'm going to compare it against VU, which is Vanguard's ETF. I'm going to compare it against um, the, S the SPY, SPY, which is the most popular one to track the S&P 500. So what we're going to do is we're going to type them here into the comparison tool. tool. We're going to type in VU. We're going to hit Go. Then we're also going to type in SPY. These all track the S&P 500. So you have a mutual. Well, okay, well, I didn't type in them. I don't know if they didn't like the. So we got VU in there. Boom. Then we're going to use a little space and type SPY. There we go. And we got all of them, right? So here, this is a cost analysis tool. So we're going to act like you start off with $100 today. And. You invested $100 a month, which is $1,200, right, in a year, $1,200 a year annually. We're going to use the stock market return. Yeah, my battery's getting low. But we're going to type in the stock market return of 7%. And we're going to say if you did this for, let's say, 20 years, right? And you're going to click go. So over the 20 years, um, the index fund will cost you $12. VU, Vanguard's ETF that tracks the S&P 500, will cost you $150. SPY will cost you $330 over time. So this is, and they all do the same thing. They all got the same performance and everything else like that. It's just that the cheapest one is the um, Charles Schwab Index. Now, I'm a big fan of VU. You guys heard me say VU, VU, VU all the time, right? But as of recently, I found another one, this index fund by Charles Schwab, looking pretty nice. The first thing is, every time you buy VU, it's going to charge you a transaction fee. Like, if you go through E-Trade today and you buy Ford stock, it's going to be a transaction fee. If I wanted to buy VU, it would be a transaction fee. If I wanted to buy SPY, S-P-Y, it would be a transaction fee. But here with this index fund, guess what it says? No transaction fee. So if I, every single month, if I brought one VU and it charged me $4 a month, 4 times 12 is $48. Eh, nothing to go crazy about, but you can get the same exact performance for free. So for people out there who may say, well, Prince, you know, yeah, but how do they compare on the chart? So now we're going to look at them side by side. We're going to look at the performance of them all on the chart right, to see how they perform. So we're going to go over here to charts. And inside of these charts, right now we're looking at Vanguard S&P 500, right, which is VU. So we're going to add in there our S, um, the Charles Squad one. And OK. Then we're going to add in, uh, which one we got, SPY on there as well. Boom. We add these. We're going to stretch them out with a max. As you can look, they're the exact same. You can hit the large chart if you want to make it bigger, but they're the exact same. So their performance is the, is the exact same. Their fees are different. That means uh, uh, right now the Charles Squad one is the most attractive because his fees are different. But when we look at the snapshot, what you're going to see, the only thing that's slight different is um, if we went to Charles Squad one, 
It charges not charge squad, but Vanguard is 1.73. Spy, um, the sp not the spy one, but the spy is like 1.84. But we're gonna look at them all together, right beside each other, because I want you guys to get you know the best. I don't want you guys to be like, well, that's what you know he said in this particular video, but I want you guys to see it. So here we go. We're gonna go down. I don't know. No. We're gonna go back, and we're going to go to. Let's type in this one here, Charles Schwab. Follow me here for a second. We're going to go to more fees and expenses because we want to use that comparison tool so they can be side by side. And we're going to type in, just like we did the last time, we're going to type in Vanguard, VU, and we're going to type in the SPY. So you guys will be, oh, well, he said, I didn't say this. You saw it for yourself. And you can follow along with your own computer and laptop, right? So, boom. Once we hit go, we have all of them right here. Let's look at the uh, fundamentals here. Right here, we get to the fundamentals. The expense right here is Charles Schwab is only 0 0.03. VU is uh, 0 0.04. SPY is 0 0.09. Now, neither one of these are bad. You know, I learned in investing, I'm doing the CFP certification. You have good, better, and best. So if you're doing either one of these, you're in a good space. At least you're investing, right? So now those are the expense ratios that people don't get a chance to, not people don't get a chance to see. But here you can compare the turnover. All of it, all this is pretty much going to be the same. They're all tracking the S&P 500. The, uh, the only difference that I'm seeing is the fees. Someone's going to pay a little bit less. So also, I want to look at where are their dividends to. Their returns are pretty much going to be the same. Here we go. Distribution yield. So SPY is 1.75, 1.83, 1.84. They're not even that far off on their dividends. So you got little spinks of pennies here on the dividends. But right now, the one that seems to be winning in all categories overall the new one that I'm looking at is Charles Schwab one. The big reason why, look at that. It only costs $42.43. Right here, under that little highlight, it's $42.43 for the Charles Schwab one. It's $250 today for the Vanguard. It is $272 for the SPY. So um, if I only if so I can invest $50 a month or $100 a month, and I can at least get into the S&P 500 or track the S&P 500 for very cheap. So when I'm looking at them, comparing them across the board, of course, they're all large blend. Of course, they do everything else the same. But if you want to invest like um, Mr. Buffett says, you know, when I compare these three, I'll let you guys know something better. Y'all comment below. But I'm liking this Charles Schwab now, SP, SWPPX. Uh, VU is good too. VU is a good one, but this one is a slight little bit better. And he has a no transaction fee. So I can invest every single month, get no transaction fee, and the fees are a little bit lower on the overall index fund. So anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, comment, and share button. Until the next video podcast, a cartoon. Peace, be safe. I'm out. Thank you.